this video lecture I am going to discuss about how to find sum of three numbers using function declaration in C++ programming language. So this code that I already written to save some time. So first here I am going to run this code. So enter three numbers 6, 5 and 5. The sum of 6, 5, 5 that comes 16. Now thereafter I am going to explain this code. Okay, I am going to discuss about the detailed explanation of this code. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method, then after that go inside the main method. So you can see float sum and it has three parameter. So this is now function declaration. So this is now function declaration. After that here I have taken three float type variable. First is n1, next is n2, thereafter n3. Now cout, so cout function, so whatever that written inside the double code that display into the output screen. So enter any three strings that display into the output screen and whatever we are entering that are set by n1, n2 and n3. Cin function, so that will uh, store the values into the memory so n1 n2 and n3 suppose n1 value is now 5 n2 value is now 10 and here this is now 6 so next is float total so next variable is now float tab that is total so total then after total equal to sum n1 n2 n3 so now here this place n1 is now 5 this here 10 and next is 16 so now thereafter sum so thereafter that control that uh, start searching where is the sum function so here that find the sum function is now so here it must be all three parameter and uh, here it should be it must be float time so here a value so a value that receive this place 5 this place that receive 10 and this is now that receive 6 okay so here you can see a b and now c so a value is now 5 that receive next b and here c 6 after that control go inside the next is now here add variable is there add so now here so a b plus c so if you add this one 5 plus 10 15 15 plus 6 21 that comes so 21 is now add value become 21 after that that return add so this return 21 so the after processing this all that return 21 so now control back to this point so this uh, there this value is now that is 21 so here total value is now 21 that comes after that to uh, that control comes to this point so that display sum of n1 n2 and n3 sorry n1 n2 so it should be n3 n1 n2 and n3 total total is now 21 then after end of line so that change the line of the control or the cursor so this is how that code that works so one time going to repeat so if you debug this code then control comes to main method then after that go inside so this place this is the function declaration so function are declared with the function that is integer tabs and uh, here so the name of function is sum and it has uh, it must be three parameter because so we should uh, enter three numbers now three parameter or uh, some function that declare okay after that uh, float type three or uh, float or uh, type variable that taken n1 n2 n3 so here this display into the output screen scene function so whatever we are entering that is set by 5 10 6 okay whatever we enter so that are set here n1 n2 and n3 so now or the next is float type total variable that taken right there then after total equal to sum n1 n2 n3 so this is now this is function or declaration 
and this is your function definition so this is now some uh, function uh, when control comes to this function so that I start searching in the code where is the sum function is there so that found or uh, this place so this place that found okay so this place found and according to given parameter n1 n2 n3 that accept by a b c so here a, n1 value is now 5 a value is 5 n, n2 value is 10 and this b value is 10 n3 is 6 and here float c value is now 6 after that that go inside add variable that taken then add equal to a plus b plus c so if you add that become 20 1 and that written here 20 so this value is now after processing this uh, uh, function uh, is now here some function that written 21 so this value is now here 21 that written 21 that go to total and the article to this or uh, display to the output screen and the total value okay so this is how we can or uh, declare the function and add the numbers so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you